Hey there Aquarius, it's Chronic Joy Tarot. This is going to be your February 2018 reading for Sun, Moon, or Rising Sign of Aquarius, or whenever you happen upon this video. I like to say that's when the message was meant to come into your experience. Okay, for um, this month I'm going to pull from the Ascended Masters deck by Doreen Virtue and then read from the Zen Tarot deck. We have a new spread this month. And then at the end for the month of love in February, I'm going to pull a, de a card from the Mastery of Love um, Toltec Wisdom deck by Don Miguel Ruiz for a special message for you guys. Okay, so the topic that we're going to cover and the um, aspect of yourself that we want to focus on at this time is to clear and shield your energy, okay? So um, your sensitivities and, um, you know, those, um, let's see, sort of sensitive energetic nerve endings of yours have sort of absorbed other people's harsh energies and toxins and, um, you know, um, the energies around you and we sometimes can get really taken aback by this because we're not aware you know as sensitive people that we're we're actually everybody everything's energy and you're absorbing others energy so what you're guided to do at this time is to um, call upon your guides to clear and clear some of that um, you know if it, if you do it through meditation or prayer or um, talking to your higher power however it is for you that you can clear your spirit we want you to do that a little more often in the next couple weeks and then work on shielding you know shield from further intrusion so I like to imagine either a mirror in front of me after I've cleared and so that the energies that come will just bounce right back off or um, just a band of silver around me to protect me from from the energies coming at us okay so Aquarius to protect your heart protect your spirit and um, clear and shield it the first so this um, spread is called the key we have the um, sort of the repressed um, energy or the the actual key to unlocking this action the clearing and shielding and then you have the yin and the yang. This is the feminine and the masculine, internal, external, passive, active um, cards that um, relate to this first card. And then the middle card here is meditation. This is what you want to um, come back to and sort of rest on as you're making progress. You want to kind of, this is kind of like a, um, you know, home station sort of to make sure you focus on um, certain energies and then the next three cards are body mind and being and how they relate to this um, oracle card clearing and shielding and then of course the top card is the insight or the outcome of the reading okay first card here where you are starting is the mind so yeah look if you have been like literally absorbing others harsh energies and words and ideas and actions and haven't cleared them from your spirit it's going to bottle up into your mind right if you can clear if you have a clear spirit your mind doesn't get as jumbled right because that's sort of the you know just like you fill up a bottle and you fill the bottom part first that's where your base is your spirit and then as you fill it up toward the neck it you know it it all gathers up much tightly and, and you know literally the term bottleneck and that's what our mind is it's the bottleneck of all our energies and to be able to um, you know wash some of that away it takes resting back into our heart okay so the next um, so focus on that you know and and this is not any kind of a you know a judgment on you or saying oh you're doing it all wrong this is not that at all this is a very human response you know when you have stuff going on around you that's you know in opposition to what rests in your heart 
you're going to absorb it. It's if, unless you're shielded and you know have cleared yourself, it's really hard to keep others' energies away. And um, so, if you find that your mind is a little bit too clustered right now and and um, filled with chatter, we want you to rest back into that. Um, we want you to clear and shield and then rest into your heart space. Yes, and internally, your feminine, your um, the yin card here. Definitely, look, we pulled the heart card, the lovers. This and, and in this position, I'm going to guide you toward more self-compassion. This is, um, you know, this card has different meanings to me. And the most important one is the highest form of love, which is compassion. And because this is an internal position here, self-compassion, that's the key. You, um, you come first, your heart, your spirit, your well-being comes first. To clear and shield and rest your mind is the most important thing for you right now, okay? On your active um, external masculine here, we got the friendliness card. So out in your external life and with others, remain rooted in who you are as you're dealing with others. This is actually, you know, sort of the opposite of absorbing people's energies, right? These two trees are you know defined as very unique with one another right um you know each of them has their roots into the ground that, that represents their color the yellow and the pink where they meet up and where they touch branches it turns a little orange there's a little bit of a blending there but it doesn't take over right this is what you want when you're dealing with others you want to stay rooted in your own self rooted in your power rooted in your uniqueness and then you know, welcome others into your experience, but not so that they're taking over your entire, you know, um, spirit and being. And that's what clearing and shielding is all about, right? Okay, the meditative space here, this card here, and this is sort of the energy that you wanna um, kind of always tap into when it comes to um, making progress here with the clearing and shielding. Okay, this is another mind card. And this, sorry, I dropped it. Hold on. This card, schizophrenia, does not mean you're crazy. This is a card of indecision. Okay, so when you feel kind of up against it, you know, if you're absorbing others' energies and you're working on clearing and shielding, but you feel, you know, you know, a little bit like maybe your progress isn't there, then just, you know, rest back to a neutral place because this, remind yourself, I'm, you know, I'm feeling at cross purposes right now. I'm feeling indecisive or I'm feeling like, you know, it could go either way, road A or road B. And this is reminding you to rest back into a neutral zone, you know, get back in touch with that heart space and that self-compassion and root yourself into, you know, physically and, and also spiritually, energetically, root yourself into your own unique place in this world. And some of these um, harder concepts that are going on in your mind, the yes or no, black and white, A and B, that stuff will fall away. So remember to get back to neutral when you need to. Okay, body, mind, and being. Um, for the body card, I pulled this totality. So when it comes to clearing and shielding and making sure you're protecting your spirit energetically from others, you um, may also want to physically find a practice that, you know, sort of washes away, like if it's yoga, meditation, working out, um, listening to music, um, you know, taking a long hot bath, whatever, absorb yourself, your body, you know, physically absorb yourself into the current moment whatever kind of physical action you can take that um, allows all the other chatter in your mind to go away do that a little more often okay because you do want to rest in your heart and rest with your full spirit um, you know prior to shielding others energies from from your experience now this doesn't mean blocking people and um, discarding people, right? This means just gathering your energy, clearing, gathering your strengths and protecting that, 
It doesn't mean you can't interact or shouldn't interact with others. It just means make sure, you know, like this friendliness card, that you've got your roots firmly in the ground, okay? Mind here, the mind card. Transformation. You're ascending, Aquarius. You're getting it. Your, your spiritual growth is... Um, the, the growth, the more growth you have spiritually from your, your heart and your spirit center and the, the source of who you are, the more growth there, the more your mental aspects will transform. You know, you'll start to notice less of that sort of judgy talk that goes on within you or less of that worrisome chatter that happens. Oh, what if, what if, what if, right? Um, you'll be more rested in what is and less worried about what if, okay? So that mind, you're, you're, mo you're moving, you're making changes from starting out here with this mind card, with everything sort of all jumbled up and very clustered, you're getting this. You're, you're learning every time you put this practice into motion, you're, you're shifting the effects that it has on your mind. And, um, you know, clearing and shielding your energy, of course, is the way to it. You're getting this though, you're, you're making wonderful progress, Aquarius. And your entire being is getting it so, so powerfully. Look at this, you're tapped into source. This is your soul, your higher power, um, God, spirit, you know, however you apply words, this energy is where it all began. And you, you have that, living within you and you're getting that more and more your entire being is getting it as long as you can you know continue the practice and it's and it is a practice it's not something that you'll just get overnight and oh, okay i'm cleared i'm shielded bye <laughs> right it's not that it's next time it it comes upon you it will be time to clear and shield again and next time your mind gets a little overloaded it would be time to rest back into your heart it's a matter of ebb and flow of give and take and you're getting this though you're really strongly getting this um in your mind body and being okay and then the outcome of this reading and the basic overall message is guidance your inner and your outer guidance so once your energy is cleared and shielded your inner guidance is um more alert and has a louder voice and can help you to maneuver your way through your days but also keep an eye out for signs in your day-to-day -day life that um, the universe puts in front of you in order to continue on with your progress because those signs are there for, you, for a reason. You know, if you, I don't know, like just like if you're driving down the street and you see a road sign that's new, oh, this road sign was just put up last night because they're doing work on the street, you know, down the way and I'm not able to go through this way, I'm gonna have to find another route. But then along that route, you might find a totally new, beautiful, enjoyable experience, right? So this is the guidance I'm talking about, an inner and outer both that you want to um, tap into. Always remember though, Aquarius, rest back into that heart space. You, um, um, you know, there's no need to be loyal to your suffering. Okay, and then sometimes our minds can really make us suffer <laughs> and there's no need to, to maintain that. You can clear it, protect yourself, rest in your heart, you know, get to a neutral place and watch your spiritual growth happen. Okay, your Toltec wisdom card here that I pulled for you and this is simply for you. It's a love card for the love that's within you it has nothing to do with, you know, loving anyone else. This is how to develop your own love that's within you. And the card I pulled for you is love is kind and just. And it says on the back here, it says when you are in love, a smile is always on your face. You feel good about yourself. And because you are happy, you are kind. Love is also just when you make a mistake, you pay only once for that mistake. Oh, that's kind of a all around uh, message there but what we want to really focus on is you know when you are in love and the term in love to me doesn't mean always you know that has anything to do with someone else your sense of being can be 
seated in love. Just like this card here told us, right? The lover's card, that's compassion, self-compassion. That is being in love, in the energy of love, okay? And that's what you wanna remember. And you always have more kindness to give and you know, kind and just. There's more, when you're seated in that within yourself, you can give more um, to uh, more of that, you know, kindness, that fair-mindedness. You allow space for others to be exactly who they are. But it starts with you. It always starts within. Okay. All right, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to shut it off for now. But thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you next time. Love you guys.